overnight. RPD saying they do not believe that they were the intended targets, but there were four to five gunmen on scene at this incident. And Atia Collins joining us live now from the Public Safety Building with more now on an update on this case. Atia, we did learn more about the victims uh, and potential suspects here. What do you know? Yeah, Maureen, just like you said, police think that they were not the intended victims. Police believe that the gunmen were actually shooting at each other, and unfortunately, these two 19-year-olds were caught in the crossfire. Some innocent lives lost from this tragic situation. Now, police also said it was a dangerous situation, not only for the people in attendance at the party, but for the officers that responded to the scene. Again, it was around 100 to 200 people that were there on Pennsylvania Avenue, and at least two people sustained injuries not related to gun violence. They sustained injuries as the group tried to flee, according to police. Now, police say multiple rounds could have been fired from handguns at that encounter, leaving 14 with non-fatal injuries and two dead. Police believe all the people were between the ages of 17 and 23, and now a call to the community to learn from this tragedy and stop the violence. Jaquela and Jarvis were likely not the intended targets. We have two innocent victims here that were attending, you know, a party with a few, with a few friends. Um, and unfortunately, they lost their lives as a result because three or four individuals decided to carry handguns and pull them out and shoot at a, a crowd of one to 200 people. Now, the police did say that they are feeling, they are sending their condolences, excuse me, they're sending their condolences to the family who have lost these two youngsters a little too early. They're also saying they're asking anybody who has any videos, any information, anything that could be helpful to police from that incident that happened on Pennsylvania Avenue to reach out and give that information over to authorities.